Hello students, in today's lecture we'll look at the structure of the formed elements. When you look at a blood smear through a microscope, you will visualize seven formed elements. What we're going to do in this lecture is draw and describe these formed elements. However, we won't do any annotation in this lecture. We'll save this for the next lecture. Additionally, we won't identify the formed elements in this lecture. We'll only draw the structures and describe what they look like. We'll give more details in the following lecture. Let's draw our first formed element. Our first formed element is a red disc. We've seen this one before. This is the most abundant element when you're viewing a blood smear through a microscope. Let's look at our next formed element. This next formed element that I've shown here is a cell fragment. Again, we've named this one before, but we're not going to name any of them here. Let's move to our next formed element. As you can see, this next formed element is much larger than our red disc. Shown here is our next formed element. This is a relatively large cell compared to our red disc. It has a clear blue cytoplasm and a large nucleus. And the cytoplasm can only be seen at the rim of the cell, a very thin, very small cytoplasm. So this is our second formed element. Let's look at our next formed element. So shown here is our next formed element. This is the largest of the formed elements. It's much larger than our red disc. Let's look at our next formed element, our fifth formed element. This is our fifth formed element. The most conspicuous feature of this one is the nucleus. The nucleus is multi-lobed. This formed element may have anywhere from three to five lobes of its nucleus. The nucleus has a violet color and there are also granules within the cytoplasm. These are reddish violet granules. And so that's our fifth formed element. Let's draw our sixth formed element. It's roughly the same size as the previous one. And this is our sixth formed element. This cell is roughly the same size as our previous cell. The nucleus is bilobed and the lobes are large. Additionally, this cell has large orange to pink granules. And that's our sixth element. Let's look at our final formed element. Before I continue with this formed element, I must mention that it does have a nucleus. It's a little smaller than the previous two cells. It has a nucleus, but it also has granules. Once I draw the granules, the nucleus will become obscure and hard to see. That's why I'm mentioning it now. Let's represent those granules here. Shown here is our seventh and final formed element. As I mentioned before, this element has a U-shaped nucleus and it can also have an S-shaped nucleus. But the important point is that this nucleus is obscured by the large number of large granules. This is our seventh formed element. And so let's look at all of our elements. And so here we've represented the seven formed elements that you will see if you look at a blood smear under the microscope. Let's go over those again. The first one here is a red disc. There are millions of these, these red discs. This is the most abundant formed element. The next one here is the cell fragment. You've seen this one already. The third one here is a large cell that has a very thin rim of a cytoplasm and a huge ovoid nucleus. The fourth cell is a little larger. The nucleus is large, can be U-shaped or S-shaped, and it has a larger cytoplasm. These cells have no granules in them. These next three cells all have granules. The first one has a multi-lobed nucleus with small reddish granules. This nucleus can have three to five lobes. Our sixth formed element, the nucleus has two lobes with orange-colored granules. And our final formed element is a little smaller than the other two. In the previous two, it has granules, but it has so many large granules that they obscure the U to S-shaped nucleus. And these are all of our formed elements that we'll see under a microscope. In the next lecture, we will annotate this slide. So that concludes this lecture showing the structure of the formed elements. Hope you learned a lot.